Hey guys, welcome to my gourmet kitchen. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a delicious bread pudding. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and also click that notification bell to get notified when I upload my contents. All that I'll be using to make this bread pudding will be listed down in the description box so you guys can just go there and check it out. Javi Beats exclusive. that I'll be using to make my delicious bread pudding. You'll be needing some grated nutmeg, some cinnamon powder, some salt, some mixed essence, some vanilla essence, you're gonna need rose water, some brown sugar, some unsalted butter, some raisin, you're gonna need eggs, you're gonna need a tin of coconut milk, you're gonna need some regular cow's milk, and here I got my bread that I'll be using to make that bread pudding. All measurements will be listed down in the description box. I'm going to start off by adding in my eggs, my four eggs, this guys. My melted butter, half cup, melted butter, my salt, my nutmeg. cup of brown sugar and I'm going to make my cinnamon powder one teaspoon cinnamon powder a tablespoon of mixed essence a tablespoon of vanilla essence that is one tablespoon of vanilla essence now one tablespoon of rose water. I'm going to make my raisins. Guys, these are optional. You don't have to use the raisin if you don't want. This guys. Now I'm going in with two cups of my cow's milk. So that guys. Also my tin of coconut milk. To give it that lovely flavor. Also, this is optional guys, I'm adding some of my mixed fruits that I, that I used to make my Christmas cake. I'm just adding two tablespoons of that to it. A bit soaking in some white rum and some red lady guys, I'm telling Now, guys, you want to make sure you whisk this properly. Mix out your sugar and your eggs. This is how you want to make that liquid to pour over your bread. Add it into that baking tin. Add it into the baking tin. Now here you have it, all my ingredients, it's finished mixed it up, all of that egg and that brown sugar that I put in there and those rest of those ingredients guys. Now I'm just going to put this to the side, let's remove this, let's remove this rose water. And my... so guys. Now you're going to go ahead and start to cut up your bread. So if you cut in board, as I'm using one loaf of bread. Guys, this bread, this bread is expired. You want to use your expired bread to make this bread pudding. You want to go ahead and cut them in cubes, guys. Just like that, guys. Pudding, just cut them up in cubes. And you're gonna go ahead and get a separate basin. Just 
of those in there until you finish cutting up the rest of your breads. Yes, guys, that's how you want to cut them up. Now, there you have it, guys. You want to cut your bread into cube, just like that. I'm just going to clear this area and I get back to you guys. Clean off, all my, clean off my surface with that breadcrumbs. Just got to clean it up. Now you're going to get yourself a Pyrex dish where you'll be baking your bread pudding in. If you don't have a Pyrex dish, you can always use a bread tin. Yes, guys, or a, bake, a round baking tin. It's up to you guys how you want to, what, whatever you want to bake it in. Now I'm just going to go ahead. Start to grease this with some butter. This guys. Go ahead and grease that side. Grease the bottom. And also I'm gonna line it with some parchment paper at the bottom. bread to use is your expired bread to make this bread pudding you don't have to throw it away guys you can always save your save your your expired bread just put it in, into the freezer sorry and save it until you're ready to use it yes guys now i'm going with my liquid Pour that over it now. That's what I want to do, guys. Whoa, I make a little mess there, but I'll clean it up soon. sit here for about 20 to 30 minutes let my bread soak up that liquid yes guys and i'll get right back to you now as you can see the bread have soaked up most of my liquid yes guys i have some more of my liquid leave back into my basin i'm just going to pour the rest of that over it just like that guys in the meanwhile you're doing this guys you just want to go ahead and preheat your oven and yes mark Yes, mark for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, guys. Just gonna go ahead and preheat it for about three minutes, and I'll get right back to you guys. Now my oven is preheated. It's time to pop this inside of the oven now. Now you want to place this in the middle of your oven, just like that, guys. And you're gonna leave that to bake 
for an hour and 10 minutes and I'll get back to you guys see it now peeps the good old bread pudding yes guys after that hour and 10 minutes in the oven I'll remove it now yes guys I'm just gonna leave this to cool for about 45 minutes before I cut a slice of it and let you guys see the beauty of it I'm telling you guys the smell that's coming from this bread pudding it smells so amazing can't wait guys I'm just gonna leave it and I'll get right back to you guys stay tuned and don't go nowhere now here you have it peeps after that 45 minutes it's all cooled yes guys you want to make sure you know, your bread pudding is properly cool now I'm just gonna cut this and let you guys see So watching Matt Gourmet Kitchen don't forget to like share comment subscribe to know what you think about this bread pudding when you give it a try at home guys hit me up in the comment section until next time thanks for watching